Here are five Big Dina tomato plants. We germinated these downstairs in our basement on a heat mat and grow lights on November 6, 2015. For details on how we germinate and do seedling production, check the links below. When we brought these tomato plants out to the greenhouse, they were full of blossoms and had one or two tomatoes between the five tomato plants. You can see that this tomato has continued to grow here in the greenhouse. And so has this one on the other plant. But yesterday as I was walking through, I noticed this new tomato here on the tomato plant. This was not here when we transplanted the tomatoes about three weeks ago. That means even outside here in the greenhouse, in these cold overcast winter days, these tomato plants are still setting fruit. And as you can see on this tomato plant, they're still producing new blossoms to set more fruit. It appears that the blossoms that were on the tomato plants when we transplanted them went through the shock of being transplanted and did not set fruit. But it's the new blossoms that have come on since the transplant that is setting the fruit. In this tomato cluster we actually have five set fruit. If we go up a little bit higher we see the next cluster and there are two set fruits right there that I can see. Now I've been told and I don't have any data to confirm this so if you have experience please comment below but I am told that when a tomato blossom curls back like that that means it has been pollinated and that we'll have fruit set if everything else goes well. On this particular cluster you can see the two set tomatoes in the back behind the blossoms. I always enjoy people's opinions on whether you can grow tomatoes and get fruit set in winter. What I really enjoy is people's experiences and what they have done precisely and what they haven't done and what their experience was or was not. So your experience may vary from mine if you're using a different gardening method. But my experience shows me with the proper nutrition, light, water, temperature, and care that you can actually get fruit set and grow tomatoes during winter in Idaho and do it successfully. I hope that's your case and I'd love to hear your experiences in growing tomatoes through the winter. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear. Always listen to people's opinions and experiences and then go do it for yourself and see what your results are. You may have great results like I have experienced here.